Hi, Sheila. Nice job on your video. I appreciated how you explained student-centered, open-ended learning uh, the way you did. You know, I feel like I'm the only person in this class that's not a full-time teacher. Although I do teach, it's in a much different format than I think everyone else here. I teach to adults. They're in-service uh, training and the like. And uh, I noticed that, like your description, when children or the students become more engaged and hands-on uh, and creative, that when we employ those types of methods, same thing happens with the adults. We've switched recently from uh, lecture-based courses to um, learning activities in small groups. And it's kind of funny because a lot of them start off kicking and screaming, not wanting to do it. They want to sit in the back of the classroom, be disengaged. And then, you know, they're watching the clock the whole time waiting for lunch break. And uh, when, we, when we've incorporated learning activities, it almost inspires a bit of competitiveness. competitiveness. Well, it does in my industry, at least. And uh, it's actually a lively group when we do it that way. And I think that there's a lot more takeaways. I think there's a lot more learning. And they actually enjoy the process. It's, it's a bit different. It's, you know, the newer people that come to work, it's not too different than what they've experienced in the academy. But the, the older guys that, and gals that work with us, they don't necessarily take to it immediately. But I, I have noticed that it is a big difference. Uh, you also mentioned that uh, there are some students that might need uh, direct face-to-face -face instruction uh, with a teacher. And they may not want to be engaged. And we do find that too. There's some that are shyer and they don't want to talk, they don't want to speak, they don't want to participate in group activities. And we do have to account for them too. Uh, it would, I think it'd be wrong to assume that everyone learns the same way. And so I, I think that acknowledging that and doing what we can to make sure that we're delivering what we need to those students as well um, is a good practice. But hey, thank you so much for your video.